We live in an incredible part of the world here in the Bellingen and Nambucca Shires. Anyone who's ever visited here knows that. And the locals that live here, they certainly know it. I've lived in Dorigo for 25 years and I came from Sydney. It's the simplicity, it's the connection of community and it's the, the landscape. I moved to Bellingen because I had two young children and I was hoping to find a sort of a quality of life that I hadn't been able to find in the city. My kids can ride their bikes out in the street and ride to each other's houses and, and we all look out for each other. I'm a Gambanga man. I've lived, I've lived in this country all my life. I grew up in the ocean and surfed and fished and had it from the ocean. I, and I, but I also love the rivers and, and the mountains. I was born in Dorigo almost 55 years ago. I grew up here, I've never left. Um, I now have kids and grandkids here. I grew up in the Nambucca Valley all my life. Last year I moved to Sydney and uh, one of the things that I miss was home especially the rivers and the beaches. The genuineness and the sincerity of the local people. Um, you know when you're having a conversation with a person from Nambucca because they speak at you and to you, not across you and around you. People move to this area for many different reasons and that's what makes it so diverse. And the community love it, they love that diversity. Um, but unfortunately, the housing situations become very unaffordable for many people. There are many reasons why housing has become an issue in our area, and it's not just one. I look on the Buy, Swap and Sell pages, I look on the affordable housing pages on Facebook, and I see so many people who are, are losing their houses and have nowhere to go. I have people who work with us in our store. They work full time, their partners work full time. They can't afford to pay the rent anymore. What are they supposed to do? Where do, where do you go from that? I don't know that it's all about rough sleeping. I think it's more than that. I think it's about uncertainty and not feeling that they can start to plan what they want to do with the rest of their life. I've worked in, uh, in social housing um, in this region for the last 26 years. It's one of the greatest challenges Aboriginal people will have. Not only the emerging younger families, but also that older people were living longer. So yeah, you had to, you had to sort of start thinking about how you address those particular issues. Work a lot with youth, and uh, I know that there's a lot of you know, youth in Bellingen that do not have a home. They're sleeping, you know, under buildings, and it's shocking that in a, today's day and age that people don't have that basic need in a place as affluent as. As, as this. I've known of many situations where people have been, uh, become homeless overnight because their partner has, has either passed away or they've separated. People are having to move on and they're having to take all the skill base which they've created in this community with them. They've had to leave all of their friends. Very sad situations. I know one family where there was four kids and a single mum in a one bedroom house and just because this is the community that she wants to be part of. Just before Christmas, my mother and my cousin and their babies got kicked out. Since then, I've applied for 47 houses since Christmas. Some people don't want kids. Some people say I have too many kids. They wanted a house instead of presents. So they were like, oh, you know, like we'll, we'll just send our presents back and, you know, we'll get a house. But, you know, it was so hard to try and explain to them, you know, when um, now it's come to Easter, you know, it's the same kind of thing. Since arriving in Dorigo 15 years ago, I've seen a great change in relation to the affordability and the availability of housing. Houses to buy, the prices have probably tripled. The rents have skyrocketed as well. So people who are on you know, minimum uh, wage and service the town are finding it hard to find residents somewhere where they know that they can contribute to the community and not feel that they have to be moved on. So what we've decided to do is to come together as a community and have a forum to see if we can find some solutions to the problem. Look, we know some people might think that these issues are too hard to solve, but we're looking at things that have worked in this area previously and then in other areas, other models, while still progressing as a region. So many people may not realise that we do have a long-standing, very successful housing cooperative in Bellingen that's been running for 20 years. And we house a mixture of families and older people and single people in dwellings that are safe, secure, long-term and affordable. And coming together in our housing cooperative, we enjoy the benefits of affordable housing, but we also get to experience community and that sense of belonging and working together. We live in one of the richest societies in the world. 
we have easily enough money, easily enough riches for everybody to feel that they have a secure base from which they can go forth and thrive. There is no reason why we don't have that. And when we don't have it, it's a loss to everybody. A home to me means everything. Everything to my family, my children. A home for me is always Gumbanga country, you know. If I leave Gumbanga country, you know, um, I always want to come back, you know. And um, so uh, that's, that's home for me, you know. Home is the lean country. I know it's the place where I've got a roof over my head. I know it's where I can feed my children. I can be there with my family. I can relax. That, that is home to me and everybody should be able to feel that. Live.